Welcome back to KX Sports. This weekend is the second annual Justin Demary tournament, and it continued on Saturday at Corbett Field in Minot. First game of the day, battle between the two Montana teams and Kalispell and Glendive. Great start to the game for the Blue Devils as Quinn Hoffer gets Austin Brennan to chase out of the zone on this one for a leadoff strikeout. Later in the inning, though, Oscar Callis would drop one in the center field. It would get by, and that would allow him to hustle all the way around the bases, and he would ultimately pull in the third with a two-run triple. The very next batter, one gets away from Hoffer here, and it gets all the way to the backstop. Callis gets a good jump, and he sneaks his hand just in time to be safe, scoring on the play. And that'll do it in this one as Callis Belt takes it to Glendive, winning 14-0. Second game of the tournament, he's got the two North Dakota teams, the Vistas of Minot and the Mandan Chiefs. Top of the first, Mandan with two runners on. Chopper over to Parker Hand, he'll step on the bag at third and throw over to first for the double play to get out of the inning. However, Vistas would strike first in the bottom of the second. Aiden Deal finds a hole, bringing in Tyson Rizika for an RBI single. Two batters later, Easton Panasuk would extend that lead to two for the Vistas as he drops this ball into left for an RBI double, making it two to zero Minot. But Mandan quickly answers, McCoy Keller laces one down the left field line for an RBI single as the Chiefs cut the lead to one. However, Minot edges out the Chiefs with a 5-4 walk-off victory. Now let's move over to the major leagues. It's the Orioles top hosting the Twins in Baltimore in this one. Top of the third. One on from Minnesota. Byron Buxton lines one in the left, but Austin Hayes full extension diving to make the play for the out. Over to the fourth, still scoreless, but not for long. Joey Gallo crushes this baseball for his 15th home run of the year as the Twins take a 1-0 lead. Now, bottom of the ninth, tying run on second. Anthony Santander flies one to right, but Max Kepler sliding in foul territory to make the play to save the run as Minnesota holds on and wins it 1-0. The 144th Mandan Rodeo Days begins tomorrow night. This year, a full slate of top talent will take part in the three-day event. 12 of the top 22 competitors, according to the Pro Rodeo Cowboys Association, will compete. It's amazing. I mean, Mandan Rodeo Days, that's what we've strived for, is to bring in the best and have them compete in our new arena, um, show them what Mandan is like. We're pretty excited for a few of them being uh, Stetson Wright. That's his first time being in this area, and he's the all-around cowboy. We have Mandan native Ty Brewer. With the Cheyenne Frontier Days and the Calgary Stampede also taking place around this time around 4th of July, the rodeo days have become a part of what is considered Cowboy Christmas. The event begins tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. at the brand new Dale Palkey Arena. That'll do it for sports here at 6. Let's toss it back to you at the desk.